So Netflix has a new movie out and it is called Extraction and it's not bad. It's actually pretty good. Except for that ending. <laughs> we'll talk about that. But here's my review for Extraction. Hey guys, what's up? This is Anthony, uh, you know, giving you guys some reviews in these hard times. But don't forget to like and subscribe, guys, okay? You got to do that for me. And um, that would make my day. And let's just get into this good movie. The surprisingly good movie has some flaws, but it's called Extractions on Netflix. Stars Chris Hemingworth and a whole bunch of other people who I cannot pronounce their names. So I'm not going to even try to attempt to butcher their names. The guy from Stranger Things is here. That guy's in there. Extraction tells the story of a down and out soldier who has some PTSD. He's done with all this stuff, right? You know, his family died. He has a tragic story, but he gets hired from like some of his old friends. Ask him to do a job to save this young kid from a whole bunch of like mobsters that want to kill him. And if he dies, then this is going to set the whole mob dynasty or something in whack. It, it's it's not really clear on that part, <laughs> but it doesn't matter because the rest of the movie is good. And yeah, it's just basically Chris Hemsworth and this kid and how they build a relationship and how there's a whole bunch of really cool action scenes in here. I mean, I'm just going to jump right into it. The action scenes in this movie, holy cow. They do such a good job of making it look like it's just filmed in one shot. I don't even know where to begin. There's It starts off as a car chase scene and then it devolves into like a rooftop action scene and it looks like something out of Uncharted. It's really weird. Like you would see in a AAA video game nowadays, it was literally shot by shot like that. But it's it's not bad. It's a good thing because I was like, whoa, that Uncharted movie with Tom Holland, that's never going to be, <laughs> never going to happen because it keeps on getting pushed back and delayed and different directors. I'm starting to get kind of excited because if they could do the same thing that they did or just a little bit, half of what they do in Extraction for the Uncharted movie, I, I'm, I'm hyped. And I think that's probably the biggest strength of this movie. It leans heavily on the action and it does that really well. So if you're going to lean heavily on something, you got to do it right. But the, the beginning of the film, I was kind of iffy because they kind of hit you with like, you know, you, you got to feel for these characters. They're... They have such hard lives and it's so hard to be them and i'm just sitting here like the kid <laughs> that's getting captured he's a rich kid don't really feel that sorry for him they're like oh hey he wants to go outside he wants to be a normal kid i i have no empathy for him <laughs> i have empathy for him when he gets captured i mean nobody wants to see that happen but other than that i'm like you're just a rich kid having fun you can do whatever you want Sorry. They do the same thing with Chris Hemsworth. I know he has like a tortured past and everything and you know he did lose his family but they try a little bit too hard. There's a lot of overacting in this movie especially when they try to force the relationship between Chris Hemsworth and uh, the kid that he's trying to save. There's a scene where they're just after they ran away from everybody and they're sitting and they're just talking right and you know usually those scenes are pretty good and those are times to develop the characters. But here, they're doing that. They're trying to do that, develop the characters. But it seems so forced and out of nowhere. They're like asking each other like personal questions. And I'm like, you guys known each other for like 24 hours, if that. <laughs> Are you really going to ask me how my mom's doing? I, <laughs> I don't know. But the one person that they do manage to get some kind of emotion out of and make me want to feel something for is one of the villains in here they do they just do a good job of explaining the story and make you feel for him make you feel like you know this is a person that has something at stake and maybe necessarily they're not such a bad guy the best villains in movies i feel like are just in any, in general comic books tv shows whatever the best villains are the ones where you can sympathize with them and you can kind of see their point why they're doing what they're doing and they do that in extraction. There's just one scene I forgot to mention. It kind of tie. It, they try to do it at the end, but it, Chris Hemsworth jumps off of a like a really really high cliff into the water. The way he lands in the water, he's like this. He jumps in and he goes like this. You know how you put your body to tell you if you're a diver or something like that. They make your body straight like a pin or something. But he goes straight to the to the bottom. There's rocks there. And I was like, this guy's dead. He's dead. 
but when they show him, <laughs> they cut the scene, he's underwater, he's crossed, his legs are crossed, and he's like doing some yoga. It, it was probably one of the funnier moments. And the ending. So I said in the beginning of this video that the ending is questionable. <laughs> the way they end this film, yeah, I didn't really like it, but I, 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 I didn't like it and I liked it at the same time because I liked it because it was so bad that it was good. And then I didn't like it because they pretty much just took any of the, the small amount of feeling that this movie gave you out of the way because they're like this is happening but overall guys i definitely think you should check out extraction if you're into if you just want to see a cool fight scene or action sequence for like a good 40 40 minutes or so it's it's decent so guys what did you think of extraction and below are you excited to see it or do you like chris hemmingsworth do you like all the other actors and actresses in this movie that i cannot pronounce are you mad at me that i don't know their name and i won't say their name because i just can't remember their name and i don't want to butcher it just let me know in the comments down below don't forget to like subscribe do all that stuff and uh, check out my twitter so you can stay up to date with my channel also check out my letterbox where i do written reviews for this movie and other movies that i've done so far and also guys you know you know what i'm gonna say as always keep watching movies